In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading, and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you, and under your protection rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When, call, when Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing. To us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets, that they are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus. As it is written in the second psalm, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him, with trembling rejoice. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, 
so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel is a familiar one. Jesus is having a final meal with his disciples, preparing them for the days to come when he will no longer be with them. In this scene, Judas has left, and Jesus has predicted Peter's betrayal. Jesus can see their anxious faces and sense their doubts, so he addresses them directly. Do not let your hearts be troubled. He assures them that he will be with them again. In offering encouragement, his words are not a vague hope for an unknown future, as if to say, don't worry, it will all be okay. Rather, he reminds them of who they are, to whom they belong, and what they already know and have now. You have faith in God, now have faith in me. And where I am, you know the way. Thomas and later Philip have understandable confusion and questions about where, how, who, wanting to have directions and destinations spelled out, some tangible sign of God's identity. And to this, Jesus says, I am the way. And in the next verse, you know me, you know my Father. From now on, you do know him and you have seen him. When we are confused, troubled, and fearful, it may be conflict in a relationship, decisions we have to make, anxious about an unknown future. We tend to want answers to provide clarity. We want the when, where, and how spelled out. We want the safety of having control, the security that comes with knowing exactly what will happen and what I need to do in order to achieve my desired outcome. Today, Jesus tells us our clarity, our security, our safety is only in a relationship with him and through him with God. At these times, we need to be still and listen for the voice of Jesus, whether in prayer or in the words of a faithful friend, reminding us, hey, you know Jesus, you know the way, you know to whom you belong, so trust the process. Trust that you will be led and given all that you need. Let us pray to the Father, our all-powerful God, who raised Jesus, our Savior, from death, that the Church, purchased by the blood of Christ, may be more truly united in the mission of the Gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who are weighed down by personal problems and sufferings may come to know that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that young people may consider lives dedicated to the service of God and neighbor through ordained ministry and lives devoted to the mission of the church. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, for all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Byron Carlo Bondak, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parishioners confined to their homes or nursing facilities, for those who are sick and those who care for them, for those intentions entrusted to our prayers and those that we now offer from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, teach us at all times to love your holy name, and we ask you to answer these prayers according to your will, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that, redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.